Shalom, call hello, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Ahasham, Raka Kodash. The be honest to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you, I say Shalom, to the Akim and to the Akwath, that will be your brothers and sisters, Adawan Ratazah. That is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ayabad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And this lesson is going to be entitled, UYNs and YGs Got to Go. Okay? Once again, title for this lesson is UYNs and YGs got to go. Alright? What am I talking about? I'm talking about the wicked of our people. Alright? So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Right? Whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Two-thirds of our people. Okay? The Lord, the Lord is going to punish you, man, if you, if you accept you repent to be so you don't be a part of that number of the two-thirds. But if you don't repent and turn back to the Lord, all right, the Lord is going to, uh, 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 he's going to bring judgment to you, man. Well, everybody, get, everybody gets a reward. It's just according to your work, all right, that's what your reward will be. If, if your work is righteous, you get a righteous reward. If your work is wicked, you're going to get a wicked reward, all right? But you YNs, meaning uh, 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 you young niggas, man, Niggards or uh, young ninjas, all right? Uh, uh, YGs, young gremlins, all right? Your, your, your behavior, your attitude, the way you carry yourself, the things you do, the evil and the wicked uh, that you do, the, uh, the, 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 the transgression and iniquity that you, that you commit against the Lord, all right? When the Lord don't want you to be that way, okay? But this, this is what you do. Okay, the Lord is gonna bring a judgment to you, man. Okay, and 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 he gonna he gonna get you up out of there at some point. All right, and whether it be before uh, 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 the Lord returns in the, in the day of judgment, or at that time you you have a a a a a a, 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 a nuke with your name on it, man. Okay, because the lake of fire. All right. That's how it's going to be created, man. I mean, ICBM missiles begin, begin to be shot into the ends of the earth during World War Three. Okay? But um, the Lord said it, man, except you turn to him with a whole heart and repent. All right? The Lord said, repent or you're going to likewise perish, man. Okay? So once again, this is for, this lesson is directed at the, 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 the wicked of our people, two-thirds, man. Two thirds. That's a very big number, man. Okay, you you YNs and 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 and, and, and YGs, man. All right. That's going off, and just uh uh going about willful willful sinning, and not seeking the Lord and doing what you want to do. The Lord gonna get you up out of there, man. Okay. We are living in a time of great judgment. The Scripture speaks of it every day that his his judgment uh go forth, man. Every every morning the the, the light, all right, um, is, is judgment is brought to light. You see, but I'm gonna read this precept real quick, um, showing you the Lord said to repent, or you're gonna perish. Okay, this is Luke chapter uh, thirteen. I start at verse one. It says there were they were present. There were present at the season some that told him of the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans, because they suffered such things? I tell you nay, meaning no, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. So the message is to, the message is to repent, man. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Acts 3 and 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted so that your sins may be blotted out when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. The Lord is telling you to repent because if you don't, you're going to be met with judgment, man. You see? 
It's right here. It's telling you that except you repent, you, you shall perish, man. Okay? Reading on, verse uh, verse 4. It says, all, all those 18 upon whom the tower in Salem fell and slew them, think ye that they were sinners above all men that dwell in Jerusalem? Verse 5. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. So the message is to repent. And if you don't take heed to the word, all right, you're going to perish, man. That's just it. The Lord is going to get you up out of there, man. Okay? So, to this, to this, especially to this young generation that, 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 that care less for life, man. Okay? The scriptures tell you how, because iniquity shall abound. All right? Matthew chapter 24. And verse 12, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. We're living in a, in a time when, when, when you go into that word cold, it means psycho. We got a lot of psychos out here, man. We're living in a time where, where there's no love being shown, okay? Especially this younger this younger generation, man, okay? Uh, the scripture speaks about, um, uh, let me get that scripture real quick, all right? Um, a lot of these... These YNs and YGs, they little monsters, man. Okay? They act like straight monsters, man. Um, this is 2nd Ezra chapter 5 and verse 8. It says, There shall be a confusion also in many places. This is speaking of the end times, man. And the fire shall be oft sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places. Right? It says, And, mon and, and menstruous a menstruous woman shall bring forth monsters. That's these little YNs. You see out here, these young niggas, okay? These young ninjas out here, okay? And YGs, young gremlins out here doing what they want to do, man. Snatch and grab, okay? All right? They're doing all manner of evil, man, okay? Hey, you, you could think of it. They're doing it, man. The scripture speaks about how uh, 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 they they wise to do evil. Let's get that. And this is why they got to go. Okay? Uh, because if we had to wait on them to get the kingdom, we would have never get it, man. You see? Um, King Solomon sp speak about uh, uh, if, we, if we all face the east and call upon the name of the Lord, the Lord will come to our rescue, man. You see? But we know with, with, with these YNs and YGs, it's not going to happen, man. All right? Um, what's the scripture I'm thinking of? Uh, uh, Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 22. All right, because they, 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 they this, this young generation, man, they, they lost and gone away backward, man. They, they, they wise to do evil, you see, but to do good, they don't have no knowledge. Let's get to Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse uh, 22. It says, For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children. Sottish meaning stupid. And they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. See, this is how our people get down, man. Especially uh, these little uh, YNs and YGs, man. Right? Uh, these, little, these little gremlins, man. You see? They're wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. You see? And that's how they, that's how they get down. That's how they get down, man. Let's, um, this is Jeremiah chapter 5. Let's bring this up. Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 23. It says, But this people had a revolting and a rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. Neither, neither say they in their heart, Let us now fear the Lord our power that giveth rain, both the former and the latter, in his season, and reserve it unto us, the appointed weeks of the harvest. Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholden good things from you. You see? It says, for, for among my people have found wicked men, they lay wait. As he that setteth snares, they set up a trap, they catch men. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore they are become great and waxing rich. They are waxing fat. They shine, yea, 
they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause of the they judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper, and the right of the needy do do they do they not judge? Verse 29 says, Shall I not visit for these things, said the Lord? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? You see? It says, uh, verse 30, A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. Hey, <laughs> you know Jake, man. Jake be doing all manner of evil, man. You know? And the Lord spoke about that also. Let's go here and... um. <sighs> Let's go here and uh, what's that? Um, um, Hosea, book of Hosea, the fourth chapter. Hosea, I think it's Hosea, right? Yeah, chapter four and start at one. Um, right, this is Hosea chapter four and verse one. It says, Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there is no truth nor mercy, nor knowledge of the Most High in the land. And this is how Jake operate right now in these times, man. These young uh, 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 ninjas, uh, uh, young uh, gremlins, man. They, 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 man, they, they put the Most High behind them, man. It says, uh, verse 2, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touch it blood, right? Jake, man, Jake, 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 Jake could commit adultery, all right? Man, I, I gave this guy a ride the other day, all right? This guy was so upset. The guy had his baby with him and his, and his woman, all right? The man was inside the, the Publix, and he got in the store, and his woman, him, his woman, they talking and going back and forth. But what just, what, just, what just happened? A dude work inside the Publix, and the nigga... See the man, woman, he falling the woman around, and the nigga right there. He said when they get out, out of the store, he, he standing up by the front door. They waiting for the Uber to come, right? And say, when he look around, he see the same nigga again trying to get his woman attention while he's standing right there. So you see, the mindset of Jake, <laughs> hey, 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 man, that's why we need the law, statutes, and commandments, man, because... <sighs> This, this, this just it can't continue like this, man. It can't continue like this. The, the Lord, the Lord is gonna come and, and straighten it all out. See, but um, yeah, <laughs> this, this, this is the world that we live in at the moment. But righteousness is coming to the earth because the Lord is gonna return, man, and bring righteousness back into the earth, man. You see, but this is how Jake doing it right now. Verse two, Hosea chapter four and verse two. It says by swearing. And lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touch it blood. You know, for the least little thing, man. You you inside a a, a business establishment or somewhere, and, and 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 you walk on one of these these little dudes' shoes. They 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 pair of sneakers or something. They might lose it on you, man. Okay, this is just the world that we live in. You know how much you know how much clubs. Uh, uh, them things, things like that is happening. People walk on somebody's shoes and big fight break out. End of the night, somebody stabbed up, shot up or whatever. That happened many times over and over and over and over in Jake communities, man. You see? It says, uh, verse 3, Therefore shall the land mourn, and every one that dwelleth therein shall languish, and all the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven, yea, the fishes of the sea, and also shall be uh, taken away. It says, verse 4, Yet let no man strive nor reprove another, for thy people are as they that strive with the priest. Therefore shalt thou fall in the day, and the prophet also shall fall with thee in, in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. Verse 6, this is the point. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because they have rejected knowledge, I also will reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou has forgotten the law of thy power. I also will forget thy children. The Lord say you're going to even forget your children, man. Okay, because you're not seeking the Lord with a whole heart and turning to him in truth and sincerity. And the Lord already told you, Jeremiah, the third chapter, that, all right, the Lord said to turn on to him, man, and, he, you know, he's not going to keep his anger forever. Only acknowledge that you transgress against him, man. You see? But, um, 
reason why I say you 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 young uh 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 you young niggas you young uh, uh you 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 NYs and 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 and, and, and it's like it, you YNs and YGs young gremlins reason why you why I say you got to go because that's what the scriptures say the scriptures say all right when you go to um Zechariah the thirteenth chapter see it's already written for two thirds of the wicked of our people to be punishment okay. Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 8. It says, And it shall come to pass in that, say, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, and this is talking about the daughter of Babylon, a.k.a. America, said the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. That two parts is talking about 66.6 uh, of the wicked of our people, man. The two thirds. It says, Two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein, which is the elect. The third, one third is the elect, 33.3%. 30, so this is why I'm saying uh, uh, <laughs> you, you YNs and YGs got to go because it's already written that the two thirds of our people, the wicked of our people, they, they, the law going to get rid of them, man. It says, verse 9, and I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver as refined. These are the ones that repented, all right, of the elect. And I will try them as gold is tried, and they shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say it is my people, and they shall say the Lord is my power. Okay? I'm going to get one more real quick, and we're going to turn it out. I got, I got one more minute. I'm going to try to get this in there real quick. Second Exodus, the ninth chapter. This is another one that's showing you that uh, Second Exodus chapter 9, beginning at verse 9. This is showing you the Lord is going to bring punishments and judgment to the wicked of our people, two-thirds. You, you, you YNs and YGs, man. And the rest of the wicked of our people. All right? It says, um, Second Esther 9, and the wicked in general, which is Esau, Edom. All right? Esau. You're going to be, you're going to be, you're going to be done away with, man. All right? Uh, Second Esther chapter 9, verse 9, it says, Then shall they be in pitiful case, right? Which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully, and, all right, shall dwell in torments. You see, this is what happened to the wicked of our people. It says, verse 10, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. The Lord gave you your limbs, okay? You have your life, you have your work, you have your job, you have all these benefits of the Lord that the Lord gave you, but you still ain't remembering to turn to the Lord with a whole heart and repent, right? It says, verse 11, and they that have loved my law while they yet had liberty, right? You have this grace period, but you ain't thinking of the Lord. You ain't trying to repent. You just willful sinning and doing what you want to do. It says, and when as, as when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. You despise the words of the Lord. You despise his prophets that he sent to speak to you, right? It says, verse 12, and this is the point, and we're going to end it here. It says, the same must know it after death by pain. See? The same must know it after death by pain. So the Lord, all right, at the end of the day, he's going to get rid of you, man. You see? Except you repent and turn on to him, man. So, hey, that's why I say, because the scriptures say two thirds of our people are going to be done away with, man. They're going to be cut off. Okay? So you you YNs and you YGs, you gotta go. I'ma end it there. Giving all the glory and praise unto Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai Ba Hashem Rakakodash. That by honest to the elders and the pastors of great millstone that taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth and truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. With that, until the next time, Shalom.